A very old friend of mine, Kenneth Hughes, came to me once and said, we can do a movie. I have a great book. And he sent me this book by Tony Duchesne, and I was quite taken by the book. I thought it was fantastic. And so I said, sure, why not? Which is all how all mad things begin. My very first film was Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which was, is nothing like this film, but it had a similar feeling of kids trying to find their way. I think it's an outsider's story. It's a story about a kid who everything in his body, everything in his bones wants to do right. It's not just a coming of age story because I think that it sheds light on everybody that's involved in the congregation, like not just Gabe, not just the kids. It gives a perspective even for the lives of the adults. We had an open casting call and we accepted tapes submitted from around the country. It was a great audition for me because I, I got to read with Eric and reading with Eric, he does something to the actor's psyche that feels very comforting. I mean, Eric's the ultimate actor's director. He made everyone feel so comfortable and he's so like insightful and he always offered the best tidbits on your character in like the simplest way so you could do something with it. I'm engaged. I know, I know. The safeness that we all felt on set it enabled us to, it enabled me to access parts of myself that I have not been able to access before. Working with Tony Duchesne, who wrote the book and the script, and was on set every single day was absolutely fantastic. It was how I wish every experience could be. He was a participant and a collaborator, and if something wasn't working, he would adjust it, he would change it. I believe Eric may have thought I was taking four hour chunks to do edits. I was taking 16 hour chunks to do edits and then sending them back the next day, pretending like it was nothing but a thing. It was a thing. Tony's so fun. <laughs> He's a character. Um, and it was really cool being able to work with the author and the person who went through this experience. How do, how do the book and the movie compare to my real life experience? A lot of it's really close, like on top of it. Leave me alone! Tony is such a sweetheart and you could tell that he was just overflowing with gratitude every day on set. And people would ask me, hey Tony, how you doing? And I'd tell them, this is the best day of my life. I really wasn't kidding, it was the best day of my life. Eric actually encouraged me and Sasha to go to a couple Jehovah's services and we did and it was uh, very eye-opening. Uh, the, the formality of it all, the, um, the severeness, the austerity of it all was uh, very, very informative. Thank you for your example. As far as theology-wise, I fact-checked like a journalist. I actually had to get older publications, make absolutely sure that uh, everything I was portraying about the Jehovah's Witnesses really happened in the 1980s and not just to me i reached out to find other people who grew up around that time and were jehovah's witnesses to see if if they had similar conversations with elders and it was across the board everything that was that ended up in the book and in the film we really kept the theology of jehovah's witnesses not interested is it the bible you're not interested in or is it the f off my property i wasn't drawn to this story out of anger or frustration with religion. I was drawn to the story because I desperately related with the father and the son, with the son and his friends, with the friends and their first experiences with love and sex. Honestly, when the script came out and we went ahead and did the film, we weren't really thinking about the budget. We were just thinking about the story. I promise them nothing. I encourage them not to work with me because it's really hard to work with no money. And, <laughs> and they did. That's crazy. Sue to this day was one of the most educational and inspiring experiences. Man, if you can capture the essence of the book and honor it, that's everything. And that's what happened. It was 
it was an amazing experience.